Put it out the coop in the lot. Put it for a 12 for a swat. Pussing all the bells out the box. Just hit a leaf with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. Good morning, guys. So I weighed myself this morning. I'm weighing about 173 pounds. And uh, current body fat about 13.8. So I really want to drop that number once like, I get closer to, you know, once we like figure out if I have a season or if I have any like upcoming tournaments. You don't want this number to be too high. And, you know, the only reason why I'm bulking up is because I just want to put on a couple more pounds of muscle. And, you know, my season's been canceled. So I thought this would be the perfect time, you know. To really put on some weight so you know once i get back to competitive soccer i want to be around like 165 to 170 of like really lean muscle and i think you know i'll be able to hold my ground a lot better versus you know being like 130 140 pounds where i used to be you know when i was super lean so now i'm gonna head to st james get a good session in and i practice tonight as well so i'm just gonna do get some light touches nothing too crazy just to make sure that you know i go well rested and into practice tonight so i'll see you guys there what's up guys so i'm here at st james and it's just me today so what i'm gonna do is gonna get some light touches in i just finished jogging for about five minutes doing some dynamic stretches and uh, i did a little bit of ladder drills just to get my heart rate up work on some agility and I'm going to be doing some plyometrics as well because the day that you don't do legs and you do upper body, you should be doing plyometrics and vice versa. So if you do legs, let's say like you do some leg exercises or like high intense, you know, something that's very taxing on the legs, you should do uh, upper body plyometrics on that day and try not to combine leg day with leg day plyometrics because it, plyometrics are very taxing on the body and it's essential that you give your body enough time to recover. It actually recommends that you take 40 hours of recovery from plyometrics. So I'm going to show you what I do. I'm just going to get some light touches in and then do some mobility stuff and stretching. So hope you guys enjoyed this part. Inside my bag, my shoes. Clean, 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 clean. Gotta go. I have class literally in like 10 minutes. So I have to drive safely, of course, but speed. I just got so into training today because I was practicing this move and I think I got it. I'll post it up, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy. Just like I felt like I was so close and I knew I could get it and I just kind of lost track of time. But uh, I'm just once I get home, I'm going to tune into the lecture. Get when my name's get called, take uh call my name out, say president or here whatever. Shower, grab some cereal and then, you know, be in class, but um I'll see you guys in a little bit. that parallel parking job on a hill. What's up guys, so I just woke up. I had practice yesterday, it was really intense. We did some like small sided games and then we also played 11v11. So today's going to be almost like an active recovery day. Just try to get lots of touches in and then gonna stretch and focus on just recovering because I might have a scrimmage tomorrow. So I just wanna make sure that I don't do too much today, but I prepare myself well for tomorrow. So I'm just to go train with Khalid. So I'll see you guys there.
What's up guys, so as you guys just saw, I had my lunch, I had some salmon and brown rice with a little bit of naked just to get those extra carbs in. And right now, what I do usually when I'm on the desk studying, taking notes or so on, and all I do is foam roll my foot just like this the whole time, hitting different parts. Just keep it remembered that you have muscles on the bottom of your foot, so you know, you want to make sure that they're nice and relaxed. So if you have, if you're ever experiencing like tightness or pain at the bottom of your foot, try this out. This will really release a lot of pain and tension from that. But the thing that makes it even better is when you put this in your freezer. This makes it almost like you're icing your foot essentially, but you're rolling it out as well. So for the people that watch this, if you use the discount code SX10, you'll get 10% off this whole thing. And right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to be working on some videos, editing, and some schoolwork, stuff like that. And I'll get back to you guys later. What's up guys? So right here, you're gonna see me doing my favorite form of recovery, and this is called Normatec. And a lot of you might've seen professional athletes using this before, and it is the best thing, but it is very expensive. But you know, I, the reason why I bought this is because I wanted to provide my clients another service and you know, some rehab after their workouts. And essentially what this does is that it enhances blood flow and it speeds up recovery. And I highly recommend you guys go try it out at your local physical therapy places and some gyms might offer it. So, you know, give it a try. But after this, you know, what I do is I use the vault, which comes with a stretching strap. It's probably one of my favorite things. And, you know, I foam roll, I use the stretching strap to stretch. And then I also use the peanut as another foam roller and these are you know the stretching that's free you know it costs nothing and it's probably one of the best forms of recovery that you can do and i also have a massage stick that you can buy on amazon i'll leave it linked down below so if you want to check one out i highly recommend that too but all these are great sources of recovery and the last one is a massage gun it's not mine it's my girlfriend's but this is also an amazing you know recovery tool as well I, you've probably seen a lot of people buying it recently and it is great it comes with a lot of different you know attachments let's say you're a little too sore you don't want anything you know too hard then you could use that but it's also an amazing form of recovery tool that you can take with you it's very portable it comes with a, like a little suitcase and i highly recommend it too i'll leave that link down below on like connected to the amazon link so if you want to check that out they have a lot of great deals and with black friday coming soon i'm sure you're going to find a lot of these products on you know really good deals but if you're interested in the foam roll the foam roller the vault comes with a peanut lacrosse ball a stretching strap workout bands and comes with the foam roller the foam roller itself so if you're interested in that you know use my discount code sx10 and you'll get 10 percent off so if you're interested and you want to buy a foam roller that you know not only is great for storage but is also a great tool for recovery that you can take with you then i highly recommend that but thank you guys for watching if you did like this video please leave a like and thank you so much to all the subscribers we're almost at a thousand we're about 14 away from this video and you know i'm super grateful for all of you out there so thank you again and i uh, hope everyone has a wonderful day